Hello, my name is Frank Silverman, the Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association. And I'm here in Oklahoma City at Maya headquarters, and I want to talk to you about preparing for back to school. Now, before you tune me out, or before you tune me in, I want to let you know I'm going to take a different approach to this. I'm going to assume you know what you need to do to market. Okay, whether it's about passing out flyers, going to meet the teachers, going to the public school system, placing ads, whatever it is, I'm taking the approach that you know that and I want to hit a different approach for back to school. This is going to seem very obvious, but I know everybody watching this is going to have one of those moments where they go, yeah, I could be guilty of that. So you spend all this time, all this effort, all this money for the back to school push, the back to school marketing. And by the way, if you aren't and you don't know what to do, I want you to call Maya and we will help you out with how to market for back to school. But assuming you've done that, here's where the disconnect comes. Is your school open? Are you answering the phones? And what does your school look like? See, I know a lot of people, and I've been guilty of this myself, where I run ads and then I don't show up till four o'clock. I, I mean, I'm busy. It's not that I'm not working, but I'm not at my school. Or I let the phone go to the answering machine. Or when people come to my school and stop by and shop, it's a little bit messy, doesn't smell good, smells like a gym. Okay? So let's talk about that. You spend this time, effort, and money. What do you need to do? Well, you need to first have your phone on, okay? And you need to be able to answer the phone as much as possible. I know personally that if I make a phone call to any business and they do not answer, let's just say I have a plumbing repair at my house. If I call the first plumbing company and they don't answer, I don't leave a message, I roll right on to the next plumbing company. Okay? Martial arts is no different. People don't know about the quality or lack of quality of the schools or the facilities in the area. They Google your name, they Google martial arts, they look in the phone book, they find an ad, they call you up, it goes to the answering machine, guess what? We call the next activity or the next school. And that's true whether it's martial arts, whether you do an after school pickup program, whatever it is. So very first, you've spent the money, the time, have your phone manned. It doesn't mean you need to man it 24 hours a day, but potentially the week or two as we lead into back in to school and clearly the week after school starts, we probably need to have extended hours in our office where we answer the phone. A lot of people have the, that phone transferred direct to their cell number. If you're gonna do that, at least make sure whenever you answer, it's appropriate and you're not at the bank and talking to the, the teller in line and putting somebody on hold. Make sure you can give that client or that potential client the attention they need. Make sure your school's open. You do not have to open extra hours necessarily, but whatever your posted hours are, make sure you are there, okay? If it's not you, Make sure somebody is there to open. There's nothing less professional than having hours that say you open at 11 in the morning or 12 in the afternoon and nobody's there. Somebody may have driven there just to meet you during your opening time and that's a bad, bad first impression. Then when they get in there, it's okay to be cleaning up why people are there. That's part of our daily operations, but we need to have the school looking good, smelling good, and presentable. What does looking good mean? It means everything is where it belongs. You're in show mode, meaning you walk in, it looks like the show's ready to happen. The bags aren't lying on the ground from the last class. It's not messy. It looks right. How does it smell? Well, often we as martial artists are the worst people to tell that because one, we're in there all the time and we can't tell. If a parent of a six-year-old boy or girl walks in and it smells bad, they're probably not enrolling in your school. Now you might say, hey, that's a martial arts smell. That's a gym we work out. They'll understand that once they're members, they don't understand that today. Make sure it smells clean. And then finally, make sure it's really neat, meaning often in the office area, uh, we're, we're not so neat in there. Make sure you keep a neat house. Make sure it looks presentable. My desk is the worst in the world, but my desk isn't there for parents to see uh, in my office. If I, when I had my desk in my martial arts school, always was looking neat. And when it wasn't, people actually mentioned it to me. It was kind of embarrassing. So here's the key. You've spent money, you spent time, and a lot of effort. Man your phone all the time and be professional. Only answer when you can and they won't. And the client won't feel like they're uh, second in line to something. And on that note, there's nothing wrong with saying, could you hold just one moment while you finish something else and then get back to them politely. 
Make sure your school's open when you say it's gonna, go, going to be open and make sure it's clean, tidy, and smells well. So I didn't tell you how to market, but it would the only thing worse than not marketing would actually be marketing and not prepared to take those potential sales or those potential members' calls when the fruits of your labor pay off. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes you go, hmm, yeah, I got to do a better job at that. And if, if you're, you have a team that, that works at your school, maybe you share this video with them so they understand the importance of keeping uh, the, the, the ship in tip-top shape. I hope that helps. I hope uh, we have a great back-to-school season as an industry and particularly for your school.